Question 20. This diagram shows two identical rectangles on coordinate axes, and the rectangles are identical, which will probably come into play later on. So we've got some coordinates already given to us, and we've got to write the coordinates of point A and point B. Well, let's focus on point A first of all. If you start at zero right in the corner, when you're coming along the bottom here, you'd have to stop there to get to point A. Now, point A is the same distance across as this point here and this point here as well, because we're going across like this. It's the same distance across, and both of these points are 12 across. So if those are both 12 across, point A must also be 12 across. 12 across like that. Okay, so we can write that on. Let's just rub out these arrows here to avoid confusion. But A must be 12 across as well. Now we've got to figure out how far up it is. Well, this point here is 3 up, and this point here is 9 up. Now point A is halfway between 3 and 9 so what is halfway between 3 and 9 well if we've got 3 and 9 that is a gap of 6 and halfway between that half of that gap is 3 so 3 up from 3 would get you to 6 and 3 down from 9 would also get you to 6 so this one must be 6 up so it's 12 across and 6 up you can see these are all in line so it's got to be 12 across like that and then it's going this one's 3 up this one's 6 up this one's 9 up so it's got to be 12 across and 6 up and that's point A done next step we've got to find point B so point B let's just rub this out again so point B well we know something about point B already point B is when we're going up to point B it's the same amount up as you go up to point A here and this is 3 up so if this gap is 3 up this distance here must also be 3 up so to show that point B is 3 up, remember your up part of your coordinate is always the second part. So 3 up would go there. But the question is, how far across is it? Well, starting from here, this point is 5 across because it's level with here, 5 across. So that's a 5. Carrying along to here, we already know that this is 12 across so that's a 12 now the gap from 5 to 12 will tell you the total length of the rectangle so if this point is 5 across and this point is 12 across the rectangle must be 7 wide 7 from 5 to 12 is 7 now we did say earlier that they are identical rectangles so if this one is 7 wide then this one must be 7 wide as well so if we're already on 12 here, we've got to go another 7. So it's going from 5, adding on 7 for the length of the rectangle to 12, then add on another 7 because the rectangles are identical. 12 add another 7 is 19. So we must have gone 19 across altogether. So this point is going to be 19 across, and we've already said it is 3 up. And that's your answer. 19 across and three up.